Governments are prone to abuse, especially when unchecked. A federal judge ruled in December that she was throwing out the Bureau of Land Management's case against Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy because the prosecution withheld key facts from the defense. She later ruled that there could not be another trial because the government's actions were outrageous and violated due process rights. The situation was somewhat reminiscent of the IRS scandal in which that agency and its director, Lois Lerner, targeted conservative Tea Party groups for extra scrutiny. The trial involved a dispute over grazing rights between Bundy and the federal government. The government claimed Bundy owed money for public land use fees going back to the early 1990s, which the Bundy family refused to pay. After years of trying to recoup the fees, the Bureau of Land Management, working in conjunction with the FBI, tried to impound Bundy's cattle in 2014. The story hit national headlines after Bundy, his family, and supporters got into an armed standoff with authorities that fortunately ended without violence. However, the actions of government agents badly damaged the credibility of the case and raised questions about the power of supposedly independent agencies to deliver justice responsibly. Regardless of what one thinks about the action of the Bundys, the facts of the case are disturbing for anyone who worries about the power of unchecked government. An investigative report by one of the Bureau's own special agents revealed that the agents in the Bundy case acted with incredible bias and likely broke the law. In the memo, lead investigator Larry Wooten explained how agents acted maliciously toward the Bundys. He said, the punitive and ego-driven campaign against the ranchers was all an effort to command the most intrusive, oppressive, large-scale, and militaristic trespass cattle impound possible. Wooten wrote, the ridiculousness of the conduct, unprofessional, amateurish carnival atmosphere, openly made statements, and electronic communications tend to mitigate the defendant's culpability and cast a shadow of doubt of unexcusable bias, unprofessionalism, and embarrassment of our agency. The agents called Bundy and his supporters deplorables, rednecks, and idiots, among many other worse names, Wooten said. They also insulted the Bundy family's Mormon beliefs. There are better ways of dealing with Western land. Reducing the federal footprint would certainly help. In Nevada, the federal government owns over 80% of the land. The federal government's restrictive land policies have resulted in confrontations between the government and Western farmers and ranchers. Most notably the so-called Sagebrush Rebellion in the 1970s and 1980s, in which the coalition of Westerners demanded that the government privatize land or transfer it to local authorities. But regardless of policy, Americans have a right not to be targeted by a government created to protect them and mete out appropriate justice. The unfortunate facts of the Bundy case show how an unaccountable agency can become abusive towards citizens and strikes the heart of what we believe about Republican government. The founders create our institutions to serve us and faithfully uphold the law, not be weaponized to attack individuals and groups in the shadow of darkness.